Solana is testing a crucial support level. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. We have officially broken 1,000 Telegram members. This channel is free. If you guys want to stay up to up to date with my charts as well as my trades, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Hey guys, Pinky Trades here. Welcome back to another Solana analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, I know it's been a little bit since I have made a Solana video, and I do understand, of course, I do apologize for that, but realistically, there really wasn't much happening in the current price action. And you can see for the past few days, Solana has pretty much been in this consolidation zone with the range high of the 105 and the range low of the $93. And we continue to be inbound of this zone. This to me is a no trade zone. But right now is something that's important to watch out for is the fact that Solana has broken above our exponential moving averages. And now we are starting to see a little bit more volume come into the market. What I'm going to be paying attention to here of course is if we do get a stronger breakout on Solana I need to see that same level being used as support when you have breakout volume come in mostly from an exponential moving average standpoint you need to see the same level being used as support or of course you end up getting into this situation where you see multiple wick highs in between and it's really choppy price action ideally what you want to do is pay attention to the four hour time frame look for the area of opportunity on support but right now this move of course could just be exactly like this area of range where we saw a breakout and immediately rejected so this is why i'm telling you guys please be careful and at least wait for the exponential moving averages to be retested as support now zooming out on the chart on the four hour I mentioned to you guys the first area of opportunity for a buy would be at the $79 range. You can see we got a very nice flush opportunity into that zone. It was a beautiful trade and now we are continuing to consolidate. But what I want to pay attention to is the fact that on $79, we only saw a one test confirmation. When we had the initial breakout, you will notice that we were using the exponential moving averages as support. But in terms of a support major retest, it was a one test. Usually what happens on major supports is we want to see a second and third test before the continuation which is why I'm being a little bit more cautious in terms of my long opportunities playing this consolidation zone as of right now if we do see a wick high break of 108 then that's a clean confirmation to be looking for that squeeze but if we on the daily time frame for those of you that were part of telegram for a while you guys know I have been extremely bullish on Solana since the white line was broken at $26. Our main target on Solana remains to be at $140. And of course, for those of you who are new to the channel, the reason why the $140 range is because we are looking to pay attention to the wick high. The wick high on Solana was at $141. And usually that's where the moveset is likely to finish. And you will notice from previous price action as well that the $140 in the previous bull run acted as a strong support you had multiple retests on the support zone then you had the area of follow-up for a resistance retest for the confirmation of a breakdown and now we are looking for that same move set to complete in order for us to close our take profits in the long term ideally that is going to be the zone that i will be heavily focusing on in terms of altcoins and 140 dollars and i mentioned to you guys before as well that if the 140 range somehow does end up breaking then ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be heading into the $200 Solana, which of course does sound crazy right now. But if you look at the daily chart setup, it doesn't look that bad. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in 35,000 trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Hope you guys have fun.